Chapter 14 may be the most important chapter in the textbook. It's the information that my students encouraged me most to include when I wrote this book. Chapter 14 is about theater arts academic degrees, but you'll learn a lot more about the business of higher education, no matter what your major is. Do you know what the difference is between upper division and lower division classes or coursework? Do you know the difference between a practicum-oriented degree and a research-oriented degree? or between an undergraduate and a graduate degree. Do you have any idea where to go next when you finish this class or when you finish the degree you're working on right now? Well, some answers are in chapter 14. In these pages, you'll learn what I consider to be the hardest degree to earn in higher education. You might be surprised by the answer. You'll also read surprising information about academic uh, achievement and intelligence. You'll learn why professional colleges and schools like medical and law schools are eager to recruit theater arts majors and about the different types of theater arts degrees. A well-informed and knowledgeable academic counselor or advisor is a wonderful thing in higher education, but I'll bet you'll learn something in this chapter that your academic advisor doesn't routinely tell students. What are the general common requirements for completing a theater arts degree? We begin to answer this question in, in this chapter. You'll learn, too, about the logical progression of study in theater arts, what comes after the associate's degree, and the bachelor's degree, and the master's degree. <laughs> this chapter takes you all the way to the PhD, or doctorate. What comes first, and what comes last, and some very important information you should have as you navigate through the maze that's college and university study.